So check it out. The 12 gallon is doing awesome. I've been having to do multiple water changes a week and I've managed to get the brown and blue green algae sort of under control. I think I have uh, some dead spots back here because the water doesn't seem to be really moving. I get a little water movement here, but it doesn't seem to be rotating. Um, so if you guys got any tips on that, that'd be nice. But here is the grass. You can see I have a little, little kind of a, it's still kind of cycling, or I think it's starting to get kind of uh, kind of balanced out. Uh, the water changes have been helping tremendously. Uh, with it, but um, it's looking good. Give me that shot real quick. So there is the 12 gallon looking pretty good. Um, I gotta fix that sort of circulation problem, I'm getting a little stagnant water. Um, I kind of got to disturb the top a little bit. Maybe I'll put air stone in there. I'm not hundred percent sure, but just not getting that rotation anymore. Like I used to, I'm not sure if it's a filter issue, but yeah, here it is. All right. And then we're going to walk you right over to the, <clears throat> walk you over to the, to the 55, which is right here. See me, they start going crazy. So, this also had a blue green algae problem. Um, can 03 was the, was, was the primary issue, I wasn't giving it enough, so I did a huge trim. Also, these jungle valves seem to be very sensitive to peroxide. So the minute I start kind of spraying the inside of the tank in the middle of a water change, when that water line is low, uh, any peroxide that touches those jungle valves um, just make them melt. I didn't know that they were that sensitive, but apparently they are. It's happened on two different occasions. And uh, what I didn't realize was happening was the plants were dying. And then that was creating a lot more uh, uh, kind of... Um, build up or um, waste in a tank and then that in turn started up the blue green algae problem uh, also I think at some point there were some circulation issues uh, I think my rain bar uh, my rain bars in the back there weren't pointing up uh, like they are now kind of dis disturbing that water which is nice um, and then I got a fish over here doing some backflips, man. I don't know. He's been he's been wilding out. He's been okay, but I think he only gets like that when the other fish bother him. But he seems to eat just fine. Um, not sure what's going on with that fire bar, but hopefully he'll get over it. Um, but yeah, here they are. These guys are all kind of grouped up on the right. Here's my uh, my balloon ram. He's pretty dude. He's pretty awesome. That's Max, Mr. Max. He's doing great. Uh, this is the first time I've kept a German, any any kind of German blue blue uh, species um, healthy in my tank. I think that has to do a lot with the um, with the UV. You know, I try to keep a couple different um, German blues in here with no success. Usually after the second month, um, you know, they kind of they kind of go out. But anyway, keep it short. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, a look at the 55 and the 12 gallon. Um, I sharpened up the image there real quick so you guys can get a cleaner look. But there it is. Hope you enjoyed it.